So this is so windy there's some storms and tornado warnings happening so we're just trying to stay safe um, it hasn't started raining yet but like I said we're just hoping that No, tor no tornadoes actually form and that will have to be a concern <laughs> so I grabbed a ton of boxes from Walmart went at the perfect time because they had a sh shopping cart well two shopping carts full of boxes so I was able to get that and I have a lot of stuff kind of packed up back here already, ready to go. And then this is the monstrosity <laughs> that we're dealing with here. So all of this stuff needs to get sorted through, find a new home. It's just a hot mess in here. Um, and so just got to do what we got to do. Zara London. <laughs> it's freezing. It's literally the coldest day of the year. We're under a ice warning. And we're not used to being in the cold, so we don't really have like proper cold clothes, if that makes sense. But um, we're setting up our RV now to pull off to head to the camper place to pick up our new RV. Yay! Um, it's cold. Could we have rescheduled? Yes, but this has already been pushed back a couple weeks and we're just ready to get into our new rig. Like I said, it's freezing. The majority of our stuff we put outside so we don't have that much to move over once we're there and we can just hurry up, come back, set up, and then bring everything in. Um, my husband is hooking up now, like I said. We're just trying to stay warm in the meantime. And it's cold. So um, I couldn't really show too much of the process because like I said, we're trying to move quick. It's freezing and we're already 30 minutes late. So um, I'll try to... So I'll try to keep you all updated as much as I can. <laughs> Jeez. So this is a look, a quick look. Um, there's this huge dinette, which initially I was kind of like, whoa, that's too much for a dinette. Eventually, um, I do plan on like taking this out, putting a regular dining area and a different couch. But for now, it works. Um, the slide is not pushed out yet. So this is how much space there is with the slide in. So you can still kind of squeeze through and have access to like your fridge and all that stuff um, while you're um, traveling on the road. So it's pretty nice. There is a nice large pantry here. And as you can see, it just needs some touching up, but that's like the least of our worries. Um, three burner stove, has a microwave, vent hood, sink, cabinet, 
laminates. There's a nice skylight here. So there's an, a lot of natural light coming in, which I really like. One thing I don't care for is that the windows aren't tinted. So as you can see, like that window in the camper next to us, how it has that tinted windows. We have tinted windows in our current RV um, and it makes the world of a difference. So I'm kind of sad that these aren't. And then, you know, if you want to just have your windows open during the day to let light in, then, you know, you don't want everybody being able to see inside. I can't squeeze through here, however. Um, but there is the bedroom and the door that's closed would be the bathroom. And... Our front entryway I do have some plans for this area and then here is the bunk room which can't get into so they had the heat on in here before we got started before we came in so that's nice because it warmed up the place a bit but it is so bright. Like, check out this lighting. <laughs> I'm so excited just for a new camper, a new start. Just like a fresh start going into the new year. So I'm so excited for this. Can't wait to take the time to really design it and make it home for us. And so can't wait to... So like I said, this camper, I don't think I said that, but this camper is a used camper. So I do want to clean and wipe down everything before we, you know, start um, fully unpacking everything. So that's going to be my first task, but we do still have a lot of stuff to bring over because we just ran out of time, honestly, with moving everything in, out of the old one. So we're gonna have to bring a couple things in. I'm gonna kind of scrub everything down really nicely. And then we just get to unpacking. So it's gonna be a long process, but we have time, so. to our old outback and hello to our new camper so like i said this was a brutal brutal day to do this like in less than 20 degrees uh it's freezing but we had such good service at camping world way better than our way better than our last experience um at holiday world is where we purchased our first rv so we did have a much better experience this time around and i do plan on and i do plan on bringing like a big thank you gift for uh, the people who helped us here because when i tell you it was just a really great experience i am really 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 happy with the service so i think we're good and hooked up and ready to go a nice new fridge Oh, 
Sorry. have an idea of how I want to set it up 
um but for right now we have so much stuff to unpack that i just want to kind of get things in there so i'm gonna do like a general um look of how i want things to go See to our old camper it looks a hot mess <laughs> on the inside especially just to see if i can finish unloading stuff Let's see push this slide out so i can access the bedroom camper our old camper and i came to try to find some food and i forgot it was christmas day look nothing is open nothing so i'm just driving around to see what i can find because we used up pretty much all we had and then everything else is like solid frozen solid so i'm just trying to find something to munch on but Nada. Okay, it's pretty windy out. 
see the trees are blowing super windy but I went ahead and utilized the storage out here just to store some of my stockpiled items so my soaps um, cleaning stuff air freshener I thought it would be perfect to use this area for all of that um as you know i do coupon so if you're like why does she have all these soaps that's why i'm utilizing this space for that oh this sounds oh i need some oil or something um i do need to wash this out and prepare the ice machine for use the sink does work So that works. I don't know if I show the fridge, but the fridge and the freezer, nothing's in there yet. Um, so I was really excited and my husband is super excited to have this just for like extra storage space. But honestly, I've seen a few people change their outdoor kitchen out and make it like a laundry room and put a washer and dryer back here or the the washer dryer combo machine and i really 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 want to do that but my husband will lose his mind if i get rid of this um this fridge so i'm going to let a couple months go by before actually moving forward with that project but i would prefer to be able to wash clothes and you know wash and dry my clothes here versus having to constantly go to the laundry room because I mean the lunch <laughs> the laundry room versus having to constantly go to the laundromat